I am Anil Kumar and here is a very interesting question for us. I would like to show you how to solve this question in two different ways. It is relating double angle and half angle formulas. The question is find exact value of sine pi by 12. So as I said I will show you two different solutions for this question. One is we can treat sine pi by 12 as equal to sine pi could be written as 4 pi minus 3 pi that is pi right by 12 is that okay which I can write this as sine of 4 pi divided by 12 minus 3 pi divided by 12 and that gives you sine of pi by 3 minus pi by 4 correct now you can use special triangles to find the value of sine pi by 3 and pi by 4 as you know pi by 3 let me sketch here and then also let me sketch pi by 4 also along with it approximately we'll just quickly write down the values and fill in so we are looking for pi by 3 which is this angle 1 2 and this is square root 3 pi by 4 is this angle which is 1 1 square root 2 right so when we are doing this kind of work it is better to take square root 2 square root 2 and 2 as the values correct so let us write down the values sine pi by 3 minus pi by 4 first let us expand it using compound angle formula so what do we get we get sine pi by 3 cos pi by 4 minus cos pi by 3 sine pi by 4 correct now sine pi by 3 can be written as square root 3 over 2 cos pi by 4 is square root 2 over 2 minus cos pi by 3 is half and sine pi by 4 is square root 2 over 2 right so combining this we have common denominator of 4 right here we have square root of 6 minus square root of 2 correct so that is the answer which we get let me write big and bold 4 square root 6 minus square root 2 that is the value for sine pi by 12 now this is one way of doing it it is using the compound angle formula right the other way to do it is using double angle formula uh, we know cos of uh, let me write cos of 2 theta is equals to 1 minus 2 sine square theta right so that relates cos 2 theta double angle with sine theta right let me rearrange this if I rearrange I get 2 sine square theta bringing it to the left side 1 minus cos 2 theta right from here we can write sine square theta equals to 1 minus cos 2 theta divided by 2 and sine theta equals to square root of plus minus let me write down 1 minus cos 2 theta over 2 now in our case we want to find pi by 12 so if theta equals to pi by 12 then 2 times theta is equals to 2 times pi by 12 which is pi by 6 correct is it okay now what is cos of 2 theta that means cos 2 theta right so we can now write substitute theta as pi by 12 for sine so we get sine of pi by 12 equals to plus minus square root of 1 minus cos of 2 theta which is pi by 6 divided by 2 right so from here we can write plus minus square root of 1 minus cos of pi by 6 so looking back here pi by 6 is this angle cos of pi by 6 will be square root 3 over 2 so we get square root 3 over over 2 divided by 2 right now since pi by 12 is in quadrant 1 right so pi by 12 is actually speaking 
is it it is in coordinate 1 so we should take positive value so we'll take positive value right so we should write this as square root of so 2 is in the denominator so we get 2 minus square root 3 divided by 2 times 2 is that okay now that is equals to we can bring down bring out this 2 out of the bracket correct so that gives us 1 over 2 that is half of square root of 2 minus square root of 3 so let us now check these values using the calculator so we have square root 6 uh, minus square root of 2 equals 2 divided by 4 equals to in decimals 0 0.2588 so that gives us 0 0.2588 on the other hand if I calculate this that is within square root I have 2 minus square root of 3 equals 2 divided by 2 equals to 0 0.25 this is also equals to 0 0.2588 do you see that so exactly same answer we get right so either way you do you get exactly same answer so that is how you can solve for sine pi by 12 in two different ways i hope you understand and appreciate it thank you and all the best